Good morning, everyone. Five Harley here. July 1st, travel day for me. Travel day in baseball. I got a daily best bet coming to you here on a short slate of games. Uh, one game to focus in on and uh, a couple others I may uh, just throw a tip on. But uh, uh, coming off a win yesterday um, with Giolito and the Chicago White Sox uh, getting the win over uh, the uh, Twins. A little bit of uh, concern there. I don't know how many cappers cap for weather out there, but uh, it seems to be something that's affected me this year more than any other year. Um, I don't typically cap for weather. I don't typically say, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take the under because I think there's going to be a rainstorm coming through uh, Pittsburgh, you know, something like that. Um, but what's happened a lot is similar to what happened to uh, uh, the, the White Sox yesterday and that uh, you know, rainstorm comes through in the sixth inning, and and now my starting pitcher, who's pitching great, is pulled out of the game uh, because they're not going to throw him back out on the mound after an hour waiting or three hours waiting. So next thing you know, you got into the bullpen, which is uh, not super dependable, and we almost lost that game uh, as it was 2-0, ended up a 4-3 final. Uh, Chicago White Sox getting the win. So there's four straight uh, winners looking for a fifth straight today. Uh, before I get to it, let me say thank you to subscribers. I do appreciate it. For those of you on patreon.com slash Farley, I do appreciate uh, uh, that uh, greatly and uh, uh, for the continued support. And then also, finally, uh, if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, uh, take a second to do so here. All right. So uh, let's continue on, continue with some more success, hopefully. Um, we're going to Tampa Bay here for the daily best bet. And normally I don't like chalk. I don't like this much chalk and I don't like uh, uh, big favorites, but I think we got uh, a really good dynamic more than just starting pitching matchups and how offenses are performing here. And let me, let, let me dig in a little bit further. So the Orioles are uh, coming off a homestand with the Indians in which they scored twice in double digits with shutouts by their starting pitchers did absolutely awesome. Um, you know, a very nice change for the Orioles. Um, and then they dropped the last game uh, to Cleveland, and now they hit the road and go to a very tough team to beat at home in Tampa Bay. Now, Tampa Bay hasn't had a losing month until June hit um, in over a year. So they have been used to success, and here they've really underperformed. I mean, Blake Snell, who won the Cy Young last year, had a 5-plus ERA till the start yesterday. So you got some guys that are that are underperforming in Tampa Bay, but they're still a sleeping giant. They're a great team. They will come back up, in my opinion, um, here once we get into July and then August. So I think we have a better than what we've seen team. They just played Minnesota on the road. They had a tough series against the Rangers, which they won. Um, I want to say three of four. I think it was a four-game series. I think they won three of four. Um, and now they get the lowly Orioles coming in, who has a rookie coming on the mound, making his debut, Thomas Eshelman, um, who's not outstanding. He's 25 years old, so he's not a kid. But in the minors, he's got a 4.17 ERA in AAA. It's a uh, 404 ERA. He's got a losing record overall. Of course, he's in the Baltimore system. I, used to, I believe he came up with Philly. Uh, that matter of fact, that's where he spent most of his time is with Philly um, uh, throughout his minor league career. So nothing to get super excited about. He's not a strikeout guy, averaging seven per nine um, throughout his minor league career. So, so, so not overpowering. Um, he spent a lot of time in AAA and AA over the last four or five years. So um, I will say he did have a stint in 2017 where he went uh, 23 and six uh, in, in minor leagues. I take that back. He went 10 and three. I was combining his season long with his uh, that year. Anyway, uh, went 10 and three. So he did have a good year that year. But all that said, we got a rookie coming up, going into Tampa Bay, where Tampa Bay is a good team to go against. Stanek is going to be starter. He's going to be the opener. Um, probably will go one inning. Then Yarborough's coming in. Uh, Yarborough from Florida, of course, uh, from Lakeland. He struggles at home. Um, I'm a little concerned about that, not going to lie. Uh, but Stanek lights out, only two runs all season. So we'll probably get a shutout there. Then we go into Yarborough's hands. He may give up two or three to the Orioles, but I think the Rays are going to tee off on it. This Eshelman guy, I think it's going to be six, seven runs by them. So I think we got a pretty easy seven to three victory in favor of the devil Rays. So I'm going to go with the devil Rays here, uh, run line, uh, to get a little more 
cash there. It's at a minus 140, so I am laying a little bit of chalk. But today in this slim pickings type of uh, atmosphere, I think this is the perfect environment for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays to start off July on a hot note, to solidify some home field here, and to, uh, man, I wonder how many people are going to be at this game. I bet it's like less than 6,000. Um, and then also uh, to uh, the Baltimore Orioles going on the road, only have 13 wins all season under a rookie pitcher making his debut. I just don't think we're going to get a lot of flash out of that. So um, all that said, give me the Devil Rays run line, minus 140 today. Apologize for the chalk, but uh, uh, nonetheless, uh, we're going here five straight and uh, hopefully keep marching on to tomorrow. All right, good luck everyone today. We'll see you again soon.